Marines from the United States, South Korea, and Thailand staged to join military drills in a Thai beach on Friday as part of the ongoing annual Cobra Gold military exercise. A landing force of Thai Marines led the way coming ashore in perfect sea conditions at Hat Yau in Chonburi province. They were supported by United States and South Korean units in amphibious armored vehicles. The objective was to quickly establish a beachhead and overcome an opposing force this year. Cobra Gold has re-established itself as one of the world's largest multinational military exercises after three successive years of sharp pandemic cutbacks. The South Korean and U.S. military said on Friday that they will go ahead with large-scale annual military drills later this month, despite North Korea's threats to take unprecedentedly strong action against such training. It's likely that North Korea will respond to the upcoming South Korean-U.S. exercises with provocative missile tests and belligerent rhetoric because it views them as an invasion rehearsal. In a joint news conference, the South Korean and U.S. military said that they will conduct the Freedom Shield exercise a computer simulated command post training from March 13 to 23rd to strengthen their defense and response capabilities. They said the training would focus on North Korean aggression, lessons learned from recent conflicts, and the changing security environment. During the exercises, the Allies will also conduct a number of large scale joint field training called Warrior Shield FTX to improve their operation execution capabilities. Bien, Kim Tiu.